I believe hers. Cassie, all my life I dreamed of having a real family. And now that I've got one... You're not sure you want one. Is that terrible of me? Mary Lynn, how did you and Lee get along before you knew anything about her? Beautifully. She was always available. And whenever I needed anyone to talk to, she was always there. Sometimes she would give me advice. Good advice? Yes. I remember one time when things weren't going too well between Rick and me, and she finally got Rick to see things from my point of view. I didn't ask her to. She just did it because... Because she loves you. I don't know. I just miss knowing that I can count on her, and I miss having her to turn to. The truth is, you miss your mother. She may not be perfect, and she may have hurt you, but the fact is, you love her and you need her. And no matter how much you try to deny it, it's the truth. Mr. Dennison? Yes? Hi, I'm Wade Coleman. Maybe Mary Lynn's mentioned me. I'm here to pick her up for a date. Date? Actually, it's more of a friendly lunch. Is she ready yet? She mentioned your name, but she didn't say anything about a date. Oh, you think I'm trying to move in on that other guy's turf, Rick, what's his name? Well, you know how it is, Mr. Dennison. Marilyn's trading in her ski bum for a regular bum. <laughs> yeah, well, um, could you tell her I'm here? She isn't here. She's not? No. Well, she said 1.30. That must have slipped her mind. Uh, I'll tell her you dropped by. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Dennison, I don't think Marilyn forgot the date. She's probably on her way over. I'll just wait here. Well, you don't lack nerve, do you, Mr. Coleman? Well, no one ever got anywhere waiting for an invitation, did they? Huh, I see. This is a really nice place you've got here. Well, I'm very glad it meets with your approval. <laughs> Fact is, uh, I'm glad Mary Lynn's late, because uh, it'll give us a chance to talk about some things. What do we have to talk about? Uh, it, it's okay, Mr. Dennison. I know all about Mary Lynn and you and her mother, the whole thing. And I've got to tell you, you are really upsetting her. Well, thank you for the insight. I see. You think I'm sticking my nose in where it doesn't belong? Well, you're wrong. See, I care about Mary Lynn, and I don't want her getting hurt. Neither do I. Well, then stop treating her like a tennis ball and let her love you both, her mother and her father. Look, I'm not going to run away with Al. Oh? Well, what was it that you had with the passport and the ticket that you took from Clint? Look, I thought about it, all right? I am human. You would have thought about it, too. But I decided I can't just run away from my problems. It's only going to make things worse. Besides, I couldn't take Al away from everybody who loves him. You and Max and Court. I suppose I have Max to thank for changing your mind. But make no mistake, Tina. My son stays here with me. With both of us, remember, we have a deal. And Al needs both of us. He does. Gabrielle, we can't ever let the police find out that Maria was going to try to blackmail me, because if they do, they're going to have a motive, and they're going to throw me in prison. How many times do I have to prove it to you? Your secret is safe with me, Tina. But you have to repay the favor. Anything. Within reason. Well, you saw the way Cord was. He obviously doesn't like having me around. I'll handle court. You know, it wasn't so long ago I didn't have to handle him. If only he'd moved in here before Maria died, maybe we would have had a chance. But now, I've got no one. When will you open your eyes and see what you do have? There's a man willing to give his life and you don't even notice him. What are you so upset about? You, Tina. There are so many people in this world begging to be loved. You just throw it away like it's tissue paper. You mean Max? Oh, you remember his name, do you? Well, do you also remember that he can... He can give you all the love and passion any woman could ever want. But you won't even let him try. I just realized something. You still love him, don't you? I think you even love him more. All set? Tina?
Gina? Gabby? Hey, Al, old buddy, what's wrong with the ladies here, huh? Nothing. There's nothing wrong. All right, that's the spirit. Now, this hearing is going to be a piece of cake. In fact, I have so much confidence, I am personally going to escort you down to the courthouse. You don't have to do that. When you go into that lion's den, I want to be right there with you. No, Charles, you didn't see the look on her face. No, I didn't see the look on her face, but I know children. And if you will uh, take an explanation from a man who has just about seen everything go wrong with a child that possibly could, Marilyn is young, yeah. she was hurt, and she really didn't mean that she doesn't ever want to see you again. Now look, from what I understand, she's been looking for you and waiting for you for her entire life. You've been waiting to reconcile yourself with her for 17 years. Don't you think it's possible that you could wait just a little longer? Why does everything you say sound irrefutable? Because I'm always right. Oh, oh you are? Well, Absolutely always me. right. Here's another point of fact. <laughs> what? Is it not true mm -hmm. that you have hidden in this suite ever since your explosion with Tom and Mary Lynn? Is that right? Yes, that is true. Is it not also true, and perhaps right, that you could use some fresh air, maybe take some time to smell the roses, maybe even go down to the location of these plans and see where they're going to come to life? Yeah, that is true, too. All right, I'll go with you. What, are you going to start by showing me the uh, park that you are going to name after me? Lee's Corner, my dear, is the first stop on the tour. Well, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Kate, I cannot stop worrying about Patrick. I checked on him myself. He's completely recovered from the side effects of the phone. No, it's not his physical health I'm worried about. Haven't you noticed his emotional state lately? Well, he's under a lot of pressure to finish the research. Oh, come on, Kate. He is obsessed with you. All he thinks about is he's forgotten all about his research. He just thinks about recreating the past before Cord ever existed when it was just the two of you. Wait a minute. Now I think you're the one who's getting carried no, away. Look, I'm trying to help my brother. But you have to quit the lab now. He's got to forget about you, Kate. And you can't do that when you're so near. Look, go and marry Cord and start your life with him. And whatever you do, stay away from Patrick from now on. I hope I'm not interrupting a breakthrough. Well, hardly. And even if you were, Gaston, it's great to see you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's great to see you, my friend. Well, I see the reports are true. You've been able to resume your work. Yeah, well, I, I've been trying. But how about you? Are you still out trying to save the world? One piece at a time. <laughs> but I thought you'd be glad to hear that we've made a good start in the room. Please tell me that they've torn down that prison. Not only that. All the political prisoners have been released, including a friend of yours. Harsh? Well, where, where is he? How is he? Fully recovered. But he made a point of contacting me. He wanted you to have this. Thank you. I don't believe it. <laughs> My whole jungle doctor's kit. According to Harsh, you saved many lives with the herbs and cures in this box. Well, uh... I did the best I could with what I had. Oh, uh, don't be modest, Patrick. Harsh told me about one vial in particular. Whatever it is, you used it to help your fellow inmates forget the horrors of prison, at least for a while. But I suppose with all your modern equipment, you'll have no more need for such primitive medications. Uh, not at all, uh, Gaston. <laughs> this is exactly what I need. Thank you. Well, if you'll excuse me. Hey, don't rush off on my account. No, no. Al needs his nap. I hope everything goes very well for you today, Tina. Thank you. You and Gabri Gabrielle have become real close, haven't you? I guess we have. Yeah, hey, I'm finding all sorts of friends I never knew I had. I'm glad I'm included on that list. Yeah. Look, Max. Do you want to 
to go to this hearing with me? Just because you want to keep an eye on me? What kind of question is that? Well, you caught me trying to run away. It would only be logical. Tina, I want to be with you because I'm on your side. And the other reason I want to be there is because when that judge throws these charges out, I want to give you the biggest hug you ever had in your life. Oh, Max. Max, I've been so frightened. I've been so frightened that they're going to try me for murder. But you know what? Listening to you, you almost make me think I have a chance. You do. And with a great lawyer like Judith, no problem. She's going to make that judge understand that, that you never meant to kill Maria, that it was all an accident and it was just in self-defense. Do you think maybe I could put you on the stand? Oh, I'd be honored. Your Honor, this lady here has a heart as big as Texas, a soul as deep as the Rio Grande, and not only does she deserve her freedom, she deserves a life filled with nothing but joy. What is he doing here? Didn't she tell you? Tell me what? I... Um... Max, for the time being, I'm gonna be living here at Landfair, looking out after my son, just in case Tina gets the idea in her head to try to take off again. Oh, is that a fact? Mm-hmm. Well, no wonder you were asking me if I was just here to keep an eye on you. Well, let me tell you something, Tina. We are all not like your ex-husband. Some of us actually care about you. <laughs> And what exactly is that supposed to mean? It means you got a hell of a lot of nerve appointing yourself Tina's judge and jury, is what it means. I didn't do that. Now, wait just a minute. It's bad enough that you set yourself up here as a watchdog, but you're siding up with the DA because you think she deliberately killed your mother, don't you? Since when did it ever matter to you what I thought? It matters to her. Of course, that doesn't mean a damn thing to you, now does it? All you care about is your uh, little self-righteous goody-two-shoes image. Look, uh, did you guys, ever listen okay, to yourself, look, wait, We don't need to have a fight, okay? Stop it, both of you. Gabrielle, stay out of this. Tina, do you mind telling these two gentlemen that their arguing is beginning to upset Al, and if they must kill each other, to do it outside? I'm also beginning to wonder if this really is the right house to raise Al in. I beg your pardon. Just uh, look, just help. a minute, okay? None of us need to fight here, all right? Ah, uh, hello, Tina. It's time we get moving. Jeff, we were all just discussing the hearing, and I want you to know that I have complete confidence in you and Judith. Well, we're all going to do our best, aren't we? I, uh... Judith is already on her way to the courtroom, so I think we really ought to get going, if you're ready. We're ready. Yeah, we'll meet you out in the car. Yeah. Well, a whole cheering section. You know, you can't have too many friends. Just stay calm and be strong. Thank you. that they're making me choose between them. Are you sure that they're forcing you to choose? Mary Lynn, maybe you just feel like they're... that you have to choose between one or the other. Cassie, one's a liar and one's telling the truth. Maybe not. Maybe they both have their own versions of the truth. Either my mother was... well, the kind of woman my father said she was, or she's the kind she says she was. There's no middle ground. All right, then you have two alternatives. You can either choose and lose one of them, or you can just accept both versions. I want to, but I don't know how. Then don't force it. Just take some time to think it through. Mary Lynn, you're not under some kind of deadline here. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Forgot what? I'm supposed to meet Wade at the carriage house and the mood dad's in, they're probably not gonna be speaking when I get there. Oh, Excuse good me. Good luck. I have to be honest with you, Wade. I do not appreciate your advice on Mary Lynn. 
no matter how well intended it was. Why is it the parents think they have a monopoly on advice? It's not a monopoly, son. It's just that some of us have lived a little longer and uh, have seen a little more. Then why aren't your kids happier? Why isn't the world your generation created any better? Isn't it possible that the older you get, the more you unlearn things you knew when you were younger? <laughs> I'm trying to be patient with you, Wade. You're not making it easy. <laughs> and you're not making it easy on Mary Lynn. She's the one that's all broken up over this. Over having to choose between you and her mother. Well, whatever choices she makes will keep within the family, which does not include you. <laughs> okay. You don't want to hear what I have to say. Mary Lynn does, though. And perhaps in that case, you should stay away from her. If I do, that's her choice, not yours. Yeah. Well, end of discussion. I have to go to WVLE, and uh, you simply have to go. But I told you I have a no, date. Son, Mary. You no, know, you, you do not have a date. You, you had a date. All you have is a gracious exit after you. Gaston, I'm sorry that you've got to rush off so soon. Well, fortunately, Freedom International has other duties for me here in Landview. I have a week to visit friends and do some research with Professor Powell at the university. Oh, isn't he the uh, expert on international... Um, law. What, law, right. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yes, we hope to develop new strategies to unlock other prison doors, like the ones that held you in Zaroon. Well, if I can be of any help, please let me know. Thank you. Again, it's... Great seeing you doing so well, Patrick. I hope those old medicines prove useful. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they will. You have no idea. <laughs> Thanks again, Gaston. Good, Good to see you. Bye-bye. Waiting. Were you outside very long? Well, to tell you the truth, I already... No, you didn't keep me waiting too long at all. Well, I was afraid he might run into my father. After all that's happened, I'm not sure what kind of mood he would be in. Marilyn, I'm a lot more worried about your mood. Uh, I'm okay. Come on, don't try and fool me. Something happened. Did you go and see your mother? No, no, um... I was with Cassie. And then, uh... Then what? I took the expressway to try to get home as fast as I could, and, um... The traffic was all backed up because there had been an accident. Was anybody hurt? I drove past just as the ambulance was pulling a body from a smashed-up car. Oh, no. I've seen that kind of thing happen before. I know it really shakes you up. It was a woman. She, uh... She didn't seem to be breathing, and there was blood everywhere. Why don't we just forget it? We'll talk about something. No, I can't. It touched me. I have to see if there's any news about it. Marilyn, don't you have enough on your mind as it is? A tragic accident on the expressway early this afternoon. The young mother was pronounced dead on arrival at Landview Hospital. According to hospital sources, her two children suffered only minor injuries. A woman with... Two children, and now she's gone. I know. It's terrible, but it, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Marilyn, accidents happen every day, every minute, all over the world. Don't you see, Wade? That woman was someone's mother. Her children, they will grow up without her and her love and her support. I, I say, I say we get out of here. I gotta get your mind off this, and I know just the thing we No. Can... I, uh, I have to do something first. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I'm positive. Um, would you drive me to the Holden Towers, please? Okay, let's go. Uh, if you'll excuse us a moment. Tina. You know, you've admitted to uh, keeping something from me. Now, do you know what is going to happen when we walk through that door? Yes. The judge is going to listen to me, and he's going to know I'm innocent. 
Only if Judith and I are armed with the truth. Now, we want to help you, Tina. But you need to tell us everything. Look, I did tell you everything. And what I said I was hiding has nothing to do with any of this. Marie was a very evil woman. She, she tried to totally poison Court against me. But I never, ever wanted to kill her. Mr. McGrath, they're waiting for you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, if that's your last word. Excuse me, Tina? Uh, one of the guards said that only you and your attorneys could go in there. I just want you to know that I'm going to be with you in spirit. Oh, Max. Hey. You know, I don't think I could ever go through this again. But it helps so much to know that, I, that you've been standing with me all along. Tina. Hey, you just keep thinking everything's going to turn out great, all right? Yeah. Tina. Listen, good luck, huh? Yeah. She needed to hear you say that. Max, I still care about Tina. I do. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, Cord, I'm... I'm sorry for the way I came down on your back at Landfair. Forget it. Okay, look, Tina needs all the help she can get right now, all the support. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but my mouth is awful dry. You want to uh, head down the hall and get a soda or something? Uh, no, I think I'll take a pass on that. If you, excuse me. I don't blame you. Hi, Kate. Hi, Max. How's it going? Hey, it just started. Excuse me. So, oh, honey, what are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> Here. Hmm. Oh, what did I do to deserve that? I don't know. I came here to tell you three things. First of which is I am absolutely madly in love with you. Oh, well, that's great to hear because I'm absolutely wild about you, honey. What else you got to say? Well, I wanted you to tell Tina that I hope everything goes okay. Honey, you can do that yourself as soon as she comes out of there. You, no, you... I can't. I'm not going to be here. That's the third thing. I am going over to the lab and I'm telling Patrick I quit. This time for good. You are? Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you're not just doing that for me, are no, you? No, I'm doing it for all of us. I think that Patrick needs to develop some sort of life for himself in yeah. and outside of the lab. And I want to spend more time with the man I love. Oh, I love the sound of that. And I would love to spend more time with you, honey. I, even if things... Even if what? You're not backing out on me, are you, mister? No. No, not at all. It, it's just that... There's something I wanted to tell you, but I was going to wait until after the hearing to tell you. Well, what is it? You know how concerned I am about my son. And uh, after what we talked about earlier, I decided to go ahead with that. I packed up some of my stuff and I moved in over at Landfair. Honey, I, I know you're not real pleased with that idea, but I had no choice. Now, if things go badly for Tina in there, I I'm going to have to keep an eye on her because she just very may... Well, split with my son. I see, and it doesn't matter at all what I think. Yes, it matters. Of course it matters, honey. And my offer is still open. You could come in and move in there with me. Cord, I am not going to live under the same roof as Tina. Would you please try to understand? Oh, I this, understand. Will you... All right. You have your priorities, and I have mine. And right now, I'm going to go break the news to Patrick. Honey, will you... So, where should I start? Should I start for thanking you for this lunch, or should I start with thanking you for, oops, the waterfront tour? Well, why don't you just save the thank yous, because sincerely, I enjoyed this afternoon more than any I can remember in a long time. Well, boy, that's amazing, because I really gave you a hard time. <laughs> I didn't expect you to forget your daughter completely. I just wanted you to laugh intermittently, which you did. Thank you. Boy, they really train you at the diplomatic corps, don't they? You know, life trained me in a few other things, too, which I'd like to share with you in the future, if you'd like me to do that. Well, that would be nice. Thanks, but, um, I'd rather be by myself right now, if you I, don't mind. I understand. No problem. But there is one other thing I'd like to say before I go. Diplomats don't always settle for handshakes. 
I'll be in touch. Okay. Oh, Mary Lynn, if only you knew how much I cared. Oh. oh. <laughs> you forgot them, and I have them. Mary Lynn. I only have one question. Do you mind if I call you Mom? What I'm trying to say is that I really... You can't work in the lab with me any longer, right? I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing it for both of us. Kate, hey, don't you think I know you a little bit? And I can understand how working here in the lab with me has put you in a very awkward position. Yes, but I wanted to help. And you have. In fact, it's because of you that this formula is as far along as it is. Without you, I'd still be trying to reproduce the original compound. But from now on, I think that you'd better go it alone. Well, I don't happen to agree with you, but if that's the way you want it, I understand. <laughs> what do you expect? You want me to break something? No. No, I'm, I'm grateful for your understanding. Good. And I hope that we can always remain friends, Katie. Yes, yes, mm. great friends. Mm. Wish you nothing but success and all the happiness in the world. Thank you. Oh, wait, I've got a little present for you. Patrick, come on. Oh, come on, you know me, romantic till the end, right? Uh. Besides, I've been keeping this around for a while, and I might as well give it to you now. Come on, you already gave me that beautiful necklace. I can't accept another okay. gift. It means a lot to me. Please. Go on, open it. <laughs> I know it's your favorite. Oh, Patrick. Thank you. Well, don't be shy. Put some on. I have the car waiting outside. As soon as Judith is done talking with the judge, she'll meet us at Lanford. Yeah, are you okay? Is it over? It's all over. Well, what did the judge say? Uh, Max, please. Yeah. Not right now. Uh, Tina, what is going on? What happened in there? Everybody said it would be fine. There was nothing to worry about. Max. The judge agrees with Herb. They're going to try me for murder in the first degree. is the most beautiful word I have ever heard. <laughs> oh, I feel the same way. Oh, well, I don't know how you came to forgive me, but you're here, and I love you. I love you, too. And even though a lot of time has passed, well, the important thing is that we found each other. Yeah, that is the important thing. And just as important as finding each other, is making sure that we never lose each other again. <laughs> Kate, I don't understand. It's, it's a perfectly harmless gift. Yeah, but it's very personal. Well, what do you think? That Cord's gonna get jealous if you accept it? No, I don't think Cord will be jealous at all. Well, then what is it? You're not being honest with me. You're not being honest with me either, Patrick. Your voice says you understand that we can't work together anymore, but your eyes say something different. And this isn't a gift of appreciation. It's, it's another expression of your feelings for me. Feelings that have to change. Patrick, this obsession with our past relationship, it, it's scaring me, it's scaring Cindy too, and it has to stop. Uh, oh, Cord, did Tina calm down? Well, yeah, maybe a little bit. I sent Gabrielle upstairs to talk to her for a while. I don't think she ever expected a first-degree murder charge to come down. Yeah. DA had no other choice. No. I am just glad this little fella is so young that he doesn't really know what's happening. 
He doesn't know that his mommy might be sent to prison for the rest of her life, or that she may... She may get the death penalty. Well, uh, thanks to me, could come up with something new. I mean, it could happen. Court, I'd like to give you some advice. Get custody of your baby and get him out of here now. person how long could it take to get decked out anyway then again you can do a marvelous job in an hour you approve <laughs> my eyes are getting fogged up mm. so did you see this beautiful incredible piano mom bought for aunt melinda I certainly did i didn't know you played not a note can you believe it david rinaldi for a father melinda kramer for an aunt and none of those musical genes got in my system. Well, that's only because you got all the sexy genes. Mm. And there wasn't enough room for anything else. You are being awfully flattering this afternoon. What have I finally started doing right? Nothing. Just a little weakness on my part, that's mm -hmm. all. Well, the suspense is killing me. Come on, what are we doing? Where are we going? I can't tell you. Why not? Because it's a surprise. Okay, then let's get out of here and get to it. We can't. First, you're on my case because I'm not ready. Now I am ready to leave, and you say we can't go. Mm -hmm. Mr. Russell? Ah, Michelle. Thank you. You're only 60 seconds late. Come on. Do you know where it is? Mm. What a beautiful music. John, who is this man? Mr. Mm -hmm. Russell? He's... Ah. Come right in. Come right in. Open that up. Just put it over here on the table. Beautiful. Who are these men? Well... Pierre? The hors d'oeuvres? Yes. <laughs> what is going on here? Are you going to stand around here and ask a lot of questions with obvious answers? Or are you going to dance with me? making every effort to get over you it's just not so easy i understand and that's why i don't think we should work together anymore and why i'm refusing this gift what? welcome interruption i'm not sure i know what to say to you patrick london yes judith she's here uh, i'm fine yeah fine hold on just a second it's your mom Hi, Mom. How did the hearing go? First-degree murder charges? That's terrible. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, Patrick. I've really hurt you, haven't I? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And if you don't make a big deal about the perfume, I'll take it and I'll be very happy to wear it. No, Katie. No, uh, you were right. I have been obsessed with this whole thing. And stupidly so. What, Doc, what are you doing that for? It is my favorite perfume. Well, it's symbolic for me, honey. Just a useless cause. Anyhow, uh, we can both relax now, right? Well, I hope this catharsis lasts. It will, I promise you. Well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Open it and read it. Excuse me. Ah, oh, good afternoon, Gabrielle. I couldn't help but overhearing what you were suggesting, Mr. Buchanan about Cord getting custody of Al and taking him away from Tina. Now, I know that you think this is none of my business, but I can't stand still. I think this is the worst thing that he could do. Gabrielle, you're right. It is none of your business. 
If you take away the child from Tina now, who knows what will happen? A nervous breakdown wouldn't surprise me. Tina brought this on herself, per usual. Yes, and it could also sway opinion. I mean, if Cord takes the baby away from his mother now, that's the same as saying she's guilty. Gabrielle, please, give me a little credit. Don't you think I would have thought of that by now? Cord, you have not thought about it enough. Asa, I have thought about all of these things. Long and hard, I have. If I take Al away from her right now, is it going to take away her, her will to fight, her will to survive? Personally, I think my great-grandson's life is more important than his mother's. Listen, I moved in here to Landfair just so I could keep an eye out on him, all right? Now, I'm not about to let Tina's emotional problems or her legal problems hurt him in any way. And if Tina's convicted, he gets put away for years and years, or cord, even worse, huh? Then I will deal with that when and if it happens. If I have to, Kate and I will get full custody of Al. And we'll even leave the state if we have to, to keep him away from people who might say things about his mother. We won't lose each other again. It took too much to get us back together. No, it took too many years. Too <laughs> many. Listen, um, how did you come to... Forgive me for not telling you, as long as I did, that I was your mother. I wanted to forgive you. Part of me did immediately, but I was so angry and hurt. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I guess it boiled down to what was most important, that you were back in my life again. Yeah. So I guess the mere fact of my being your mom sort of won out, huh? <sighs> mm-hmm. Oh, boy, you know... There were so many directions I could have gone in when Tom took you away from me. But I'm really glad that I chose a constructive one so that when we met like this, I could be somebody you'd be proud of. There was a car accident on the highway earlier today. It was a woman, and her car was totaled. I heard on the radio that she died. And that hit me, Lee. Mom, that I could have lost you. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? There is one thing I'm glad about as far as Tom goes. What? Well, that he chose to tell you that I was a wonderful person. Because I was really, would really hate it if you thought all these horrible things about me. <laughs> Does this mean that maybe you and my dad could forget the past and try to get along? <sighs> Never mind. I know that's impossible. At least right now. But I can hope that it happens later, just like I hoped you were alive all these years. <laughs> well, here's to your optimism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, well. I mean, now what? I don't know, what? Why don't you get some of your pictures, and we can look through all these photo albums. How about that? Oh, uh, okay, but do you have pictures of me as a baby? Oh, gosh, no, I don't. I have a picture of you in my wallet. The rest Tom took with him. Oh. Well, this is obviously me before my reconstructive surgery. I don't believe it. I've had dreams about the woman in this picture. I just didn't know it was my mother. This is all so incredible. You don't have to convince me of that. All right, Cord, Allie's your son. I'm not going to push this. Thank you, Asa. Uh, listen, I realize that you're only looking out for his best interests. That's exactly it. We're four generations of Buchanan men. And we have to look out for the smallest one, don't we? That's right. Uh, excuse me, Cord. Are you going to be here, or should I get Wanda to take care of Al? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I'll be here for the duration. Yeah, I'll be here with little Al. Uh, if you need to take off, go ahead. Well, I do. I need to meet a client of Delilah's. It might be a big order. Well, great. Hey, hey, that's good to hear. Well, sure, take your time. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Buchanan. Oh, goodbye, Gabrielle. Uh, boy, I'm glad that Gabrielle's still keeping her hand in the design business. I was really worried for a while there. What do you mean? 
Asa, she had given up everything. She was just going to come here and babysit my child. I couldn't understand that. I guess I shouldn't complain because she has been handy to have around here. Liz, have you talked to Clinton, Vicky? Oh, yes, they called this morning. Oh, not before we knew about the charges of Tina. Vicky is going to be shocked. Oh, boy. I, I wish that Vicky were here for no other reason than for Tina's sake. I am personally glad they're gone for Vicky's sake. I cannot hide my feelings, Gord. Tina put Clinton, Vicky through so much. I understand that. I do. It's... You know, Asa, I am in a hell of a spot here myself. Now, I've got a choice to make. I can either believe that Tina is capable of killing my mother in cold blood, or I can believe that my mother was so far gone that she stole the poison with the intention of killing both Vicky and Tina, and that she got messed up in the process of doing all that and was killed herself. It is a hard choice. I do understand that. <sighs> well, until somebody finds some proof on either side of the fence, I'm going to be stuck right there in the middle. Listen, Asa, if you see me reaching my boiling point if you think i'm gonna explode pull me aside say oh, something to me me i'm a fine choice i'm always exploding myself i have no time to look at anybody else but you have inherited the buchanan temper yeah but you also got your dad's sensitivity and your uncle Bo is. uncle Bo. gee am i ever gonna get a chance to meet this fellow oh sure he's gonna come home eventually anyway i feel good we've mended some fences gordon now you've got your own son, and I don't know, maybe sometime in the future you will understand how a daddy can go too far, you know, think he's doing the right thing for his kid. Asa, I do understand. Right or wrong, you were doing what you thought was best for your family. A man is nothing without the family. burn formula in the New York Journal of Medical Research? Uh-huh. Next month's edition. But the preview will be at the semi-annual meeting soon. But, Patrick, uh, why? Because it's time, Kate. Because we are so far beyond what anyone else has, has worked on or expects. Well, what about the side effects? I think the paper deals very honestly with the problems, so there's no reason for secrecy any longer. I'm just, I'm absolutely blown away. <laughs> Here, this is the paper I'm going to be reading. The London Sanders Compound? <laughs> yeah. I promised you credit, so there it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know that I'm entitled to... Of course you're entitled to that credit. You put in a lot of work on this, Kate, and without you, it'd still be just a dim idea. Well, I'm thrilled that you're finally ready to share it. Good. So, um... Would you like to go to New York with me to uh, deliver the paper? Are you kidding? I would love to go. When? <laughs> Day after tomorrow. You think you're pretty clever, don't you? Mm -hmm. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Private supper club in the privacy of your own home. I'll see if Pierre has finished the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. John, hmm? does this piano player work blindfolded? Don't worry about him. He's used to people dancing around him. It's not the dancing I'm worried about. So all we're going to do is dance. Pushy, 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 aren't you? I couldn't stand it if anything interrupted us again. Do you think anyone knows I'm here in your penthouse? Do they? Not even Sandra? Not even all with her. Really? So this is it? All night, midnight, daybreak. But we get tired of each other. Day after tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Oh, Patrick, the timing couldn't be worse. So what, are you and Cord going to try to get married for a fourth time? No, Tina's up on first-degree murder charges. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you understand how important it is that I be by his side during all this. Uh, They're going to go over in great detail how his mother was killed. I see. What are you thinking? Nothing, nothing that I should say and nothing that you want to hear. Oh, come on. No, Kate, I think you'll misconstrue it. I think you won't see it for the logic or the sense that it makes. 
Well, why don't you try me? All right. First of all, Sanders Chemical is going to be putting their name behind this. And your last name does happen to be Sanders. Yeah, but I still don't think that's a good enough reason to not be there for court. Well, it'll also help to convince your grandmother to put her power behind the formula as well. Kate, once this formula is revealed, a bomb is going to go off in the scientific community, one that you helped to create. Now, wouldn't you like to be a part of that? Wouldn't you like to be in a room full of scientists that could comprehend the work that we've been doing, that could talk intelligently about it? Who knows, it might even awaken the love that you once had for this profession. So an attorney was not involved in the adoption of Miss Seymour? No. No, my sister wasn't thinking clearly at all. She didn't want to give up the baby, but she felt that it was best all the way around. Mm -hmm. Now that she's having grave doubts about the care of oh, the well, baby... I don't understand. Now, in order for the American woman to even cross the border with the child, uh, some paperwork had to be done. He well, had to be issued a passport, which means a birth certificate listing the parents' names. Yes, of course. And the American woman listed her name and her husband's name and my sister's name as the witness. As I told you, since the birth happened in the jungle, there are only two of the women present. There's no way to disprove or prove the events. So no one knew your sister was pregnant? My grandmother and my father did. But they're both dead. Well, as a lawyer, uh, I can see a couple of paths, but they depend upon the willingness of the couple who are rearing the child. Now, if they refuse to give him up, if they choose to fight in court, your sister might very well lose. Why doesn't your sister just come forward and announce to the husband that uh, he's not the father? Maybe he wouldn't want to keep the child under those circumstances. I mean, after all, his wife lied to him. She's not even the real mother. Well, that would be impossible at the moment for many reasons. Nevertheless, my sister does want all the information that she can gather so that when the time comes for her to claim the child, she'll be ready. All right, now I advise your sister to get in touch with me personally. We'll get much more specific. You just talk so generally, it's very difficult for me to, to yeah. tell you anything. Yes, I understand that, and I'm sorry. Um, I will be sure to do that. I will definitely tell my sister to get in touch with you, Mr. Fraser. Um, of course, that is when she comes to America to deal with this issue. Thank you. Well, I'm going to feel somewhat guilty billing you for such a very brief consultation. No, please don't. You've been extremely helpful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Gabrielle? Oh, Steve. Hi. You mind if I sit down? Does that mean no? Oh, sorry, please, sit down. I was in a very in-depth conversation. My mind was just wandering. And you're upset for a change. It's the same problem. I'm sorry. Gabrielle, when are you going to let me help you with that problem? Thank you. I say this occasion calls for a toast. Well, what should we toast to? How about the fact that it was supposed to rain today and it didn't, huh? That would be appropriate if we were going to a picnic. But I think this calls for something a little more personal. To us. Not even here, here? Well, Cassie, we are here. Here, aren't we? And look at all I did. I champagne, beautiful music, a nice mood. That is a lot easier for you to do than look me in the eye and talk in depth about what you're feeling, about what we're feeling. Well, why do we have to talk? Because we're drinking champagne. Conversation goes with that, doesn't it? Hey, give me your damn champagne. There. Sean! Now you're not drinking. You don't have to talk. Oh. <clears throat> I 
I'm sorry to bother you, sir, but uh, the chef insists that this special gourmet treat is much better hot. No, of course. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We'll be fine until dinner, okay? Thanks.